today on Cheese Rolls, to rind or not to rind? That is the question. What do you do? Each of these cheeses has a different rind. How do you know? Should you eat it? Should you not eat it? Should you just um, eat the whole thing? This cheese is a fresh goat cheese and it's sprinkled with some ash. It's actually terrific. But I always recommend to people, eat the paste of the cheese first, then take a little bit of the rind. Does it taste good? Eat it. The same with this Bloomy Rind Goat Brie. I think you should take a little bit of the paste, then take a little bit of the rind and eat it. Um, if you like it, enjoy it. This is a beautiful Wisconsin cheddar, but it does have a bandage on it. It's called bandage wrap cheddar, so it's fabric. Do not eat this. You don't want to eat fabric with your cheese. So I always cut it off and then enjoy it um, myself on a beautiful plate or on a grilled cheese sandwich. Fabulous. This is a new cheese, and I actually was in Texas at the American Cheese Society Conference when this won the gold in its category. This is by the Sartori family. It's called Pastoral, and you see it's got this beautiful paprika rind. Again, I really believe, take a bite of the paste. Mm. Take a little sip of your wine. Woo! Take a bite of your, of your rind. Take a little sip of your wine and see if it works together. Sometimes the rind won't work with wine and sometimes it just sends you to the moon. This one, it's really a blue cheese, but it doesn't look like one. It almost looks like a science experiment. Look at that. When I first saw it, I was kind of afraid of this rind. It's fabulous. This is by Tony and Julie Hook, small Wisconsin cheesemakers that work alone. They're so small. And it's named Bloomin' Idiot. And Tony told me it's named after him. When he drops something in the creamery, he goes, oh, you bloomin' idiot. And therefore, the name of the cheese. Again, take the paste, enjoy it. Try the rind. If you enjoy it, eat it. This is a raw milk Gouda, again from Wisconsin, a wonderful cheese maker, but it's plastic. You can see it's plastic. Do not eat this. Cut it off and enjoy your cheese. With washed rind cheeses, they're often pretty stinky. So sometimes I'll give the rind a little sponge bath with a paper towel and just take a little bit of that stinky smell off to kind of help my friends who can't handle it. Um, but this cheese, the rind is like, like a supercharge of the cheese. So again, take the paste, eat it, then take a bite of the rind. Some people, it's too much. Other people love it. So I hope I've answered to rind or not to rind. It's pretty simple. Fabric, don't eat it. Plastic, don't eat it. Anything else, take a little nibble. See if you like it and enjoy.